welcome to another episode of Cannabis Tech Talks. I'm Patricia Miller, Executive Editor with Cannabis and Tech Today, and we're here at MJ BizCon at the PolyScience and Summit Research booth. Our title sponsor, PolyScience, is actually joining us for this episode, and we're so thrilled to speak with Philip Preston, President of PolyScience. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Awesome. So I know the cannabis industry is always growing. It's evolving. Why is it important for PolyScience to be part of that growth of the cannabis industry? Well, we're very proud of the fact that we were uh, engaged in this industry early on and supporting uh, our customers in this field. I think that uh, bringing the decades of quality and precision to this market has really helped in, and I like to think that we are providing something that is giving the a slightly better product. I would think so. And PolyScience is involved in so many different categories. Uh, I mean, can you tell our audience a little bit about the background of the company? Sure. Uh, we've been in business since 1963. My father actually founded the business then. And we have been in a wide range of markets. Uh, early on, uh, our roots were always in the analytical laboratory marketplace, but um, uh, we've done some really interesting projects. We built uh, the early PCR units. I always love to, you know, remember back to when we built the unit that tested OJ's glove. Oh wow! And uh, then we um, we got involved with uh, precise temperature cooking. Uh, sous vide cooking, uh, PolyScience was the pioneer of that technique in the United States. Growing in and popularity so, right now, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so it's not often that um, a guy that's manufacturing laboratory equipment could become a judge on Iron Chef <laughs> and write a cookbook. That's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Such a broad swath. And you're celebrating 60 years in business this year, right? Yes, we are. Yes. So there's a lot of companies I know that are kind of struggling. Uh, it's been a rough economy lately. What uh, advice would you offer people for kind of your secret for longevity? Well, I believe that, you know, that the first and foremost, you're focused on designing products that, that your customers are really telling you they need. Mm. Uh, I would always say um, it. The best products are not the engineer's dream. It's it's what the the customer's dream. And so being very focused on that and looking at constantly evolving, uh, you, uh, you see that things are always changing in terms of the demands for especially quality. That's where people today are demanding that they turn that product on and it just is the workhorse that goes for years and years. Yeah, and to be able to create that is a rare feat. So <laughs> so kudos. Um, so I'm sure our audience is curious about how PolyScience is playing a role in the cannabis industry. Tell us a bit about the chillers and how they're a part of the process. Well, most of the equipment we make would be used in um, the rotary vacuum evaporator chilling, uh, the precise temperature control for for that application. Of course, in this industry, unlike the laboratory industry, you know, the sweet re terminology like winterizing, right. uh, you know, but no one in the lab industry is using that terminology. But we've also uh, uh, we also build units that run down at minus a hundred uh, probe type chillers that are used a lot in this industry uh, for cold traps on the vacuum systems. So. Uh, we work very closely with companies like Summit in the uh, short path distillation area. And we're also working with a lot of analytical instrumentation companies uh, providing the temperature control for the instrumentation. I love that. Can you share a bit about, you know, break it down on sort of a one-on-one level about what the chillers do uh, in this sure. sector? Well, basically, a chiller is going to provide a, uh, a source of precisely controlled liquid, and generally, it's going to extract heat from an application, 
Uh, we make equipment though that heating, circulating baths, chilling baths, all a, a very wide range, everything in liquid temperature control. But um, I always think one of the easiest examples would be um, uh, laser applications is a real easy one to understand because laser, the laser energy is generating heat. And so you have to extract the heat from that device. And usually we're taking the heat from the device through a liquid path and just putting it into the air. Well said. I appreciate that. Um, you've got so many innovations for the, the cannabis space. What are some that you're most proud of? Well, I think that uh, some of the things that we've done that really drove the quality of the product, one of our recent uh, product lines, the Durachill, uh, we designed, a, a, took a very different approach, I'd say, to the design of the product because it used to always be in the old days of design for, you know, more precision and more lights, more bells. Uh, but really, the product actually went to the point where it already had more features than the typical customer needed. So we really had to take a very different approach to designing products and working backwards from looking at our uh, returns. And it was an interesting thing to find that 22% of our warranty returns came back as no problem found or a dirty condenser. So we then designed and patented a self-changing filter because it was obvious that the customers weren't doing that preventative maintenance. And our objective in the engineering of the product now is how do I make it so that the customer doesn't need to do this maintenance and how do we uh, totally eliminate the warranty returns? That's a cool approach. I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm sure the same thing is true for a lot of HVAC companies. You know, it is. Just yeah. replace the filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, was that the Durachill benchtop that you're referring to? Or? That was our, our first Durachill product launch. There were so many things, though, that went into that launch that you know, it wasn't so much, as I said, it wasn't like more lights and bells. It was more of a, let's look at reducing warranty returns, but then also looking at environmental considerations. And we were able to launch the product. We're using half of the refrigerant gas of its predecessor. Wow. Well, that refrigerant gas is, uh, has been linked to global warming. So we want to reduce our global warming potential with these units. And then uh, because uh, customers are adding algicides to the fluid, uh, we've seen more and more restriction on dumping algicides into the waterways. So we actually equipped the unit with a built-in ultraviolet light. So we kill the biologicals in the fluid in a very passive way. So. These are the kinds of ways that we're looking at designing product to to meet quality, environmental, and uh, ease of use. Yes, but I think that's uh, so needed in the industry for people to look at common sense ways to solve some of these problems. Um, and I, I think that's part of why... PolyScience was awarded the Cannabis and Text Today's Sustainable Leadership Award for Innovation. Um, I know that we're constantly looking at products and machinery that is kind of taking out some of those issues that make the cannabis industry less green than it could be. So I'm always grateful yeah. to see, see companies working on that. Um, in regard to the award... What advice would you offer maybe other companies who are looking to sort of apply some sustainability to their own operations? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, you know, for us, this, is, this isn't something really new. Other, it, in the way we run the company, uh, we're not only an ISO 9001 quality certified company, but also ISO 14000 uh, environmental certification. And so through that, we are tracking our energy costs, our, our gas usage, our electric usage, our, our scrap, uh, 
every aspect of uh, the process with a, a, a documented initiative to continuously reduce our footprint. And uh, additionally, then, we look at it as how can we design the product to meet those objectives as well. And we, we know that reducing refrigerant gas is a key component, that eliminating algicide usage is a key component. And, um, you know, even, even simple things like uh, where we would use powder coat, we we will repurpose overspray powder so that we don't have to fill landfills with it. Wow, I love that. So it sounds like, you know, looking at your existing operations and finding ways to continually incorporate these little changes can really make a big impact. Yeah, and it has to be a structured system. It can't be, a, you know, today we're going to focus on the environment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> So looking forward to 2024, what's on the horizon for PolyScience? Well, we've got a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Um, uh, um, I wish I could, you know, get into the details on a lot of them because some of them are really fun with uh, uh, primarily some new product initiatives that are really going to be exciting. Uh, I will say... They're within our core competencies of liquid temperature control, though. So we're not going to stray too far. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. I appreciate that. Uh, where can our listeners go to kind of follow along with PolyScience progression? Well, we uh, we recently launched a new website. Uh, so uh, www.polyscience.com. And uh, we have uh, the tremendous amount of wonderful video content that can uh, provide insights on product, service, and applications. That's great. Well, I know um, I learned a lot, and I hope our audience did too, and I'm really thrilled uh, we could chat today. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. My pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Um, until next time, this has been Patricia Miller and Bella Preston, and uh, we're signing off. Stay elevated. Hey, hello, I'm Tommy Chong. If you want something really nice in your laboratory, buy Durachill. I'm telling you, if you're not using this Durachill, you're not really in the pot business. You're just on the fringe of it. So if you really want to get serious, man, this is what you need. You need a Durachill in your life. You've got the technology here to have the cleanest, purest, healthiest product. I'm impressed. You want me to sell this? Buy it. Try Durachill or else. If your chiller's down, you ain't making money. And you heard it from me, Tommy Chong. Brought to you by PolyScience.